metal is a brutal sport, man. Like it's, you're making something that has a permanence. All this stuff is gonna outlive me and most of us. Yeah, you could call it like a, a collage or like a 3D puzzle. You know, inventing your own puzzle and making it look right at the end. You know, I gotta make each piece fit a certain way and then it's awesome. You put emotion aside in the beginning, it's more technical, figuring out how to create a structure. Using very small pieces, it's making something out of nothing. Sometimes you have to cut things to fit, sometimes you can work with the material as it is, but some way, shape or form, you're manipulating the material to do what you need it to do. It's dream building. So that's what makes it fun to me, I guess, is you know, every day is challenging because I'm trying to figure out a way to create a visual aesthetic that works for another individual. To sort of fill that gap, but you start to make it a little more cohesive. So the other pieces and they're popping in and out of each other. So it's still a good amount of work, deciding what to leave open, what to close off. Feeling a little holes, figure out how I'm gonna make the tail and make the head. I like letting it happen a little more naturally and organically. So you can see the material, you know what it's come from. It's an age old process of cutting steel and burning it and welding it together. And so it's a, a labor of love, I guess. You know, it's something that you do because you're almost obligated to because you love it. And that's what's been driving me for the last decade, I guess, with my work.